Hey guys, welcome back. We are in my kitchen yet again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one version of protein balls that I really, really enjoy. Um, they're great for a sweet tooth and also great if you need some, some quick protein on the go. So I have all of my ingredients behind me. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get a bowl, mixing bowl about this size. Um, so we'll set that aside. And then you will want to grab your 100% quick oats, whole grain. You will need about a cup of that. Go ahead and dump that in the bowl. You are going to need two very ripe bananas. Okay, so put those two really ripe bananas right there in your oats. You're going to go ahead and take your masher and just mash them up really, really good. All right. All mashed up and we will be using a mixer in just a minute so if you want it to look just about that then that's okay don't worry about getting it completely mashed in that um, process you will need some 100% organic honey three tablespoons of this And just make sure that it is 100% honey. There are actually, you'd be surprised if you go to the grocery store, how many of the honeys will say honey imitation. And they actually don't even have a lot of actual honey in them, which is not cool. All right, so you got your honey. PB2, as you all know, if you've watched any of my videos, this is another one of my favorites. We're going to want to do two heaping tablespoons of this, okay? And then one tablespoon of water. So put that water in there, um, grab your protein powder, chocolate protein powder. You're gonna wanna do two scoops of that. For my protein powder, this is That is going to be 60 grams of protein, okay? Last but not least, you're gonna to wanna to get your 100% chocolate chips. And we're gonna do about 3 fourths of a cup of that. All right, so go ahead, dump those in. And we're gonna start mixing, all right? So you've got everything in here. And just start mixing away. Hand mixer is great. You're gonna to wanna to do it on low, okay? So you don't want everything flying everywhere. Mix that up real nice. Okay, so after you mix that for about 30 seconds, you're gonna go ahead and get your oats again and add about a cup and a half more of your oats, okay? Just so it'll thicken it up a little bit, all right? So go ahead and mix that up on low, not for too long. Make sure you get it all mixed up. It'll look like this. It'll be nice and sticky. And then if you have jewelry on, I recommend taking it off. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead, grab them, and shape them into balls, just like this. And you can do whatever size you prefer, and then just place them right in that container. And then you will refrigerate them overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, you will have a delicious little treat to take with you on the go. And your kids will also love them. So I hope you guys enjoy. Leave me comments. See you later.